Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe. If you guys have a Hyundai Santa Fe, practically almost any generation, you remove your ignition coils to, let's say, replace ignition coil or replace spark plug. And you notice that the spark plug, well, that's the spark plug, how it's full of engine oil, guys. We'll explain what causes that and how it can affect your engine. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain what causes that and how to fix it. Now, uh, you don't need to remove your engine out of the vehicle. We have it out because we'll be making tons of videos that can practically save you guys thousands of dollars. And with the engine being out, all those repairs will be able to get good angles and show you where everything's located and what needs to be done to remove and replace uh, certain components. So let's explain what causes engine oil in the spark plug well today. So this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so specifically guys this is a 2013 engine uh, GDI 2.4 liter but even if you have an older uh, engine a newer engine GDI non GDI the procedure will be about the same before we start guys I want to tell you one thing many of you constantly ask us in the comment section below lately what computer we use for diagnostic this is one of the best ones guys and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from this is amazing too that works on almost any car you can think of and days right here so check out the link you will see what functions it supports it's amazing so now what you need to do guys remove your upper engine cover the moment you remove it you're going to find that you have ignition coils okay four ignition coils four cylinder engine cylinder number one two three and cylinder number four in that order starting from the belt from the left to right they go in order now <coughs> we guys had to uh, actually uh, 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 we're going to rebuild the engine put new spark plugs all that stuff and we remove that ignition coil and you will be surprised what's inside of it let us show you we're going to pop that okay safety pin out okay push that clip in to release the clip now then press down and then pull it out 10 millimeter socket we're going to remove them the bolt we're going to pull the ignition coil out okay and you help you hope that this is not the case with yours guys because right here that hole guys that ignition coil okay there is quite a bit of engine oil what causes that engine oil uh now pretty simple guys so your valve cover guys okay the valve cover gasket most of you think that the valve cover gasket is just on the outside so it keeps engine oil inside the engine and outside not to come outside the engine right but you have internal gaskets around the ignition co around the ignition coil holes here where the spark plugs are because that's a, uh, that's actually a 16 valve engine you have two camshafts one intake one exhaust and in the middle you have something that seals to prevent that engine oil from dropping in the spark plug well so the valve Valve cover gasket has a component where you have all uh, that you have rings inside that prevent engine oil from getting in the spark plug wells and uh, from all that heat guys and being old that rubber will compress it will lose lose its flex flexibility it will get really hard and oil will start dripping inside the spark plugs and you hope that's not the case because you will need to replace valve cover gasket now we have the complete video that will teach you how to replace valve cover gasket it's not very complicated so check it out it's on our channel but if you guys have and you know in the spark plugs holes that's what causes bad valve cover gasket now that oil can lead to misfires okay engine light on uh, why because the ignition coil may not transfer the signal to the spark plug correctly and as a result you may get a misfire for that cylinder that has oil in it 
And in some cases you may have oil even in all four cylinders if you have a really bad gasket. But that does not happen very often. Most of the times it will be one, two cylinders, then maybe three after that. And that can lead to misfires as well and loss of power. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.